They were waiting for Percy to get here before they start their weekly meeting. I don't think any of them are at their desks. I'm trying to get their meeting note binders together for them. I'm sorta of glad he's late again to tell you the truth. Truth telling. A phone sorcerer's best friend. That's okay, Tina. It can wait, or I can try Mark. You sound busy. How many binders are you trying to pull together? I hate those binding machines. I always break a nail. Notice what I'm doing here. I'm diverting her half-harried attention. It's morning bell and things are rushed at this hour. My small talk is helping to engage her. I'm giving her just enough information to validate my presence. I hope. It doesn't always work this way. Gee. I'm thinking to myself why don't I know this person? Maybe she's in Mark's office and there will be hell to pay if he doesn't get what he wants. He's so clueless it doesn't surprise me he doesn't know Tuesday morning is our weekly reporting meeting. Did I miss something? While all this is going through my head I unwittingly answer just to be polite and also somehow maybe to learn more about what I don't know. 9. I always make one for myself. I made 10 today though, forgetting that Reed is gone. Okay. Tina just gave me a pretty good idea how many are in her external reporting group. I do a quick count backwards in my head, and realize she's probably counting her manager Percy and seven analysts. I did not know the departed director's name until just now, and I'm not absolutely sure about it, but it's a good guess her name is Rita. It's good enough information to press forward with. I divert some more with what seems like friendly insider chit-chat. Tina, do you know where Rita went? Now I'm really confused. Do I tell her where Rita went? If Maureen's with Mark's office they're going to be ticked off when they hear she went to our number one competitor's finance organization as their controller at twice the pay. Better not. I'd rather not be the bearer of that bad news. I learned that lesson in my last job. No but I can tell you I miss her already. Okay, let's examine this. Tina is talking to me like she knows me. Even with the small amount of information I've presented her with I've created scenarios in her head. Those scenarios play out for Tina in many ways we can't even begin to imagine. That background music playing in her head is creating opportunity for us. The easy and familiar camaraderie I approach her with is helping this conversation along. I know Tina it's hard when someone you've worked with every day leaves. There's a void and it really changes things, doesn't it? You can say that again girlfriend. Anyway, what was it you needed? Here it comes. Are you ready? The analysts in your group, Tina. Can you tell me who they are? Are you surprised I just flat out asked for them? Don't be. It's usually the best way. Like I said, this is where it all comes together. Believe it or not, I'm holding my breath at this point. She's either going to tell me or she won't. My bet here is that she tells me. What's your bet? Well, let's see. I'm looking at them milling around now outside the conference room door still waiting on Percy. They were looking for coffee and I haven't made it yet. There's Lisa Matthews, Mike Johnson, Igor Stavinsky, Peter Wong, Linda Gunther, Marcos Perez and Sammy Patel. We call him Sammy. His real name is Samir. I hope you were ready to get them down as they came tumbling out of her mouth. Sometimes you don't have a second chance. With all the familiar small talk and all the drama going on in Tina's head, and around her she forgot that she didn't know me, and assumed I had a right to know who all the analysts in her organization were. She felt comfortable and unguarded. Lucky for me. Let's get Tina's take on what just happened. I told you before it surprised me. Talking to Maureen was easy and took less than two minutes. Once I realized what had happened my jaw dropped. Thinking back on it I also realized that it was something in Maureen's voice. A certain soothing familiarity and empathy that reached through the line and caused me to trust her. It didn't take more than 30 seconds for her to establish that with me. I think I understand a little more about how and why Maureen does what she does. Seeing now how I was probably identified in my other organization and being thankful for that today I appreciate now what Maureen is doing. I say thankful today because that hedge fund I worked for has since closed in this financial cataclysm our economy has gone through and I could very well be out of a job today if I had not been offered my present opportunity two years ago. It just occurred to me it may have been Maureen identifying me in my last company. So many of my friends are out of a job today I consider myself blessed. Tina, I don't know that I can take credit for that, but I'm happy to hear how you so get this. Some people don't. 
I consider myself an employee advocate in some respects. I also consider myself an evangelist for free trade. I believe that what I do makes both companies and employees stronger in the final analysis. I see that. Companies benefit because there are always other talents flowing in when others flow out and employees benefit because they are made aware of other opportunities in the marketplace that they otherwise may not be. This appeals to my political science roots. I made a thesis on this when I do my master's. I'd love to see you do that Tina. I hope you've enjoyed this series on telephone name sourcing. Watch for more in this gatekeeper series about tackling other organizations inside companies. We won't succeed on all of them, but I wanted to give you a good feel in this first one. This however is not an untypical example. A skilled phone sourcer will succeed more than half the time, if she approaches an organization in the orderly and controlled manner just exemplified. Those are pretty good odds against how you choose to spend your time, aren't they? Don't forget. If you want TechDrack to do what you've just seen done here call them at 5 one, three, eight, nine, 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 six, two, eight. They can't quickly phone source names for you to fill your hard to fill positions. You did get that number right. And why did you get that number? Because you were paying attention and ready for it. Once again it's five one three eight nine 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 six two eight. Call us today.